Okay, Mila's speech is about raising awareness for heart health during the month of February, sharing some tips on how to live long and healthy life and spreading love, spreading the love of cooking delicious meals. Can we all please give Mila a Mila Casey a round of applause as she comes up to, to tell us her speech titled Love, Heart Health and Food. February is a month of love, hope, and expectations. And it's an American Heart Health Month. So today I want to bring an awareness of the heart health because sometimes we take our hearts for granted, but it's not that easy actually. According to the World Health Organization, cardiovascular diseases are number one cause of death globally, taking 18 million lives each year. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, high glucose, and extra weight are the risk factors of cardiovascular disease. And it's very dangerous because it's a silent disease. So what is happening in cardiovascular disease? Atherosclerotic plaques, it's a fat deposit, the fat that we actually eat, in, in the vessels, in the, uh, the wall of the artery and it restricts the blood flow, in this case to the heart, which causes heart attack. But the heart pump, pumps blood all over the body. And if it happens in one place, it may happen anywhere. In the brain, if it happens in the brain, it's a stroke. And some innocent symptoms like back pain, can be the sign of the uh, heart disease. Did you know that erectile dysfunction is an early sign of heart disease? The smaller the diameter of the artery, the faster it gets clogged. And the penile artery is the size of the tip of the pencil. That is shocking. So what can help? Can diet help actually? Yes, it can. And there are many studies that show that. Because studies show that atherosclerotic plaques have not only saturated fats in it, but also, also unsaturated fats that comes from healthy oils like olive oil and avocado oil. Interventional studies show that it, heart disease can be prevented with a diet, with whole food plant-based diet. And the famous one is by Caldwell, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. It is really worth book to read. What about exercise? Is it important? Of course it is, we all know that. But why some people, like a strong and healthy, like Bob Harper, have heart attacks at 51? He was shocked himself. It is interesting fact, it actually takes 20 years for a bad diet to result in heart attack or stroke. That's what happens to him. My son, my 16-year-old son, got a high blood pressure after he started playing football and eating tons of dozens of eggs and chicken breasts. Now it's normalized because he stopped playing and he's 23. So why do other athletes like Tom Brady 
At 43, he is playing the, his 10th Super Bowl and he won his 7th. He's actually pretty open about his plant-based lifestyle. There are other plenty of examples as uh, Carl Lewis, the Olympic champion. He became vegan and at 30 years of age broke the world record in the 100 meters sprint. Martina Navratilova, the best female tennis player of all times. She's actually vegan. I didn't know that. Uh, Lewis Hamilton, the recent um, champion of Formula One. So it's obviously, there is, there is obviously power of plants. So let me give you some examples. Beets. Beets are great. They actually have nitrates, which our body turns into nitric oxide, which dilates the blood vessels and lowers the blood pressure. Beans. Beans are good for our hearts, right? We all know that from the, our childhood. It's full of fiber. It's great um, protein, plant protein source. It is proven to prevent heart disease. Lycopenes in tomatoes. Actually, studies show that it decreases the cholesterol, bad cholesterol level in our, um, in our body. So plant food can be delicious. And I usually, I show it in my cooking club every month. So last month we cooked delicious, this delicious meal in under 60 minutes. There is a borscht from beets, the beet soup, famous beet soup, stuffed red peppers with, they were delicious, with red rice and lentils. And of course, dessert, we always cook dessert. Chocolate cherry cobbler, mouth-watering. It can be delicious, it can be. <coughs> But there are no magic foods. So our best bet and takeaway points are not only diet, it's, and it's not a diet, it's a dietary pattern, health promoting dietary pattern. It's regular exercise, sleep, stress management, social connection, that everything will keep our heart healthy for many more years to come, not only in February. 